Hello guys, you are now in tune with M2N. This video I'm going to talk about the um, celebration that is uh, really important in the sport. Um, it's related to tennis of course, Roland Garros has finished and Rafael Nadal has won the title for uh, 14th time which is equal to the amount of Grand Slams that uh, Pete Sampras have won in the past. He won 14 Grand Slams, but Rafael Nadal has won 14 Roland Garros Grand Slams and 22 total. He is the first person to reach the number 22 when it comes to Grand Slams. And this wasn't something really um, common in the sport, uh, especially in the Open era. And uh, the start of it came with Roger Federer uh, breaking records after records, then uh, his nemesis, uh, his long time nemesis, you can say uh, the yink to his yang uh, came came along and uh, he really uh, struggled in other surfaces. But when it came to the clay court, he showed that he is really the king and he's not going to let off that crown easily. So anybody who has won the title, except for Nadal in the past 17 years, has done something really, um, I can't say astonishing. Djokovic is um, off the top of my head, the only person who has won it in um, the past 17 years twice. So he, he has repeated the Grand Slams in that sense. But in terms of the number of the Grand Slams, we can say that the undefeated champion is Rafael Nadal and uh, this is a very tough, um, we can say, a very, very tough accomplishment. So uh, congratulations to him and his team. They're always perfect. They leave everything on the court and he really deserves all the credits that come with, comes with it. This would be the end of this video. Take care of yourself. Take care of somebody else.